Hello. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we'll go over subdivision surface modifier. Also it is called as subsurface modifier. The subdivision surface modifier is used to split the faces of a mesh into smaller faces, giving it a smooth appearance. This allows you to maintain a low poly mesh to work with, and then add a higher level of detail with the modifier. Subdivision surface modifier looks like similar with multi-resolution modifier. But there are some differences. I made a tutorial video about it before. You can access it from the link at the top right. Let's press Shift A and add a monkey head. Go to modifier menu and add subdivision surface modifier. Set the level viewport to 2. Let's enable the wireframe view to able to see new subdivided edges. As you can see, it still displays original mesh edges. We have to disable the optimal display option here. There we go. There are two types of subdivision. The default option is Catmull Clark. It allows to subdivide and smooth the surfaces. The simple option allows only to subdivide without any smoothing. You can also set the number of subdivision to perform when rendering. Use Limit Surface option places vertices at the surface that would be produced with infinite levels of subdivision. In other words, it places vertices in the position where our mesh reaches the smoothest shape possible. The quality controls how precisely vertices are positioned on the limit surface. Let's delete monkey head and add cube object. Go to modifier menu and add subsurface modifier. Set the level viewport to 3. As you can see, subsurface modifier basically turns this cube into sphere. If we don't want some edges to smooth, we have to enable the Use Creases option. Let's go to Edit Mode and select the bottom edges of the cube. Press N key to open right side toolbar. Let's increase Mean Crease value to 1. There we go. It allows the bottom edges to maintain sharp angles and stay flat. If disable the use creases option, it will make smooth again the bottom edges. UV smooth option controls how subdivision smoothing is applied to UV. Let's click on the UV Editing tab. Press A and select all vertices of the cube. You can see how the cube's UV looks like before applying subsurface modifier. Let's go back to Object Mode and apply the subsurface modifier. Go back again to Edit Mode. As you can see, UV islands are smoothed, but their boundary remain unchanged. Because Keep Corners option was selected before applying. Let's press Ctrl Z and undo. Now, let's see what happens when we switch this over to All.
Apply the modifier and go back to edit mode. There we go. UVs and their boundaries are smoothed. If we switch this over to none, UVs aren't smoothed and boundaries are kept sharp. Let's go back to layout mode and add a plane. Go to edit mode. Right click and subdivide the plane one time. Select the vertices and press S key to scale down little bit. Go to modifier menu and add subsurface modifier. As you can see, it smooths boundaries in all corners. But, if we switch over the boundary smooth option to the keep corners, our corners will maintain their sharp angles. Let's go back to object mode and select the cube object. Go to viewport shading menu and set a viewport shading. Go back to edit mode. Press Alt N and split custom normals. Press tab key and go back to object mode. If you enable the Use Custom Normals option, it will interpolate existing custom split normals of the resulting mesh. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.